Pray excuse me, Sir Morse. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you have the time. Go ahead and ask. Here at Castle Black, the brothers tell many tales about you. They speak of the legendary battles you fought before joining the Night's Watch, and about how you earned the name The Butcher, faced with the barbarians from beyond the wall. The Wildlings? Just what do you think you know about them, lad? I heard that they're bloodthirsty barbarians who worship the White Walkers and mate their women with the Others. They sometimes try to claw their way over the wall to steal our women and destroy our land, thirsting for our blood. And if they were here, their eyes would launch showers of lightning to make the Night's Watch tremble, and balls of fire would fly from their asses. It's shit. The Wildlings are a real danger. However, they are normal men, like any other. Which is exactly why they are such a threat. They attack when they're hungry, or when their balls are too full. There's nothing more dangerous than a hungry man. To be starving and ready to do anything to survive. I've been there. That's why I ended up here. Enough talk. Listen, Kragan is well liked by his men. He's a good leader. They may not take kindly to us going after him. Be ready for anything. If there's trouble, stay together. Keep an eye on the brother fighting by your side, and all should be fine. By the Seven, I hope that it won't come to us fighting our own brothers. What? You're not from a fighting family, Pod? Oh, it feels just like home to me. Kragan could have gotten away with a stint in prison and a whipping for the rape. But now that the boy is dead, once I've told him what he's accused of, he'll know that he has nothing left to lose. You can never tell how a person will react when they've come to the end of their rope. The villain will be as desperate as a cornered animal. Remember that this villain is easily worth ten of you, Seltiar. We are tracking him down because he broke his oath, and he will be judged for it. But never forget that he served the Night's Watch for close to 20 years. I won't underestimate him, Sir Mors. Well then, get ready. Is there nothing left alive along the wall? I'm so cold! It's even worse than I'd imagined! I can't feel my feet anymore! Silence! It's still summer, and this is as warm as it will ever get at the wall. The cold keeps you awake, and walking keeps you warm. So, march on. A wild thing. This is not a good sign. I'm... They never move alone. We've rarely seen these dogs so close to Castle Black. And Kragan's patrol should be here already. We need to find out more. But there are only four of us. Could there be more of them? Four brave sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. You wanted action, right? Well, this is it. So stop whining. It's madness, Sir Mors. We don't know how many there are. Well, now there's one less. Kragan, what happened here? The Butcher's here? <laughs> You're too late. There are wildlings everywhere. I killed a few, but there are too many. Two of them. Moors. They're beasts, I tell you. I did what I could do to save my lads by luring some of the bastards to me. Why did your men go? I sent them to try their luck, crossing the bridge. Get out of here, <coughs> if you want to live. Moors, go. It cost him his life. I would have expected nothing less from that old bastard. When your time comes, do as he did, and take as many with you as you can. We'll try to remember that, sir. We must leave, Sir Mors. We don't have a chance. Remember what happened to Gorold, Poddy. 
If I must die, at least I'll plant my dagger in my killer's eye. I hope that it will be so, Ronit. Cregan was carrying the keys to the fort. They're probably still on his body. Still moving. The bastard got rotted. I'll finish him off. Calm yourself, buddy. He'll tell us everything he knows before he dies. Keep your anger for the next wildlings we see. There's bound to be more. Ah, uh, you're as dangerous as ever, butcher. <laughs> At least I buried one of your boys. Dogs like you always travel in packs. Your leader must be nearby. Where is he? Where is gone? Sit on you, Crow! You know I always get what I want from my prisoners. All you'll do is suffer more. Give up. Go bugger yourself, old man! Son of a whore! Ah! Enough! I'll tell you what you want to know! Fine. What were you doing so close to Castle Black? There were only two of us and our men. We just climbed over the wall. You lie. You never could have crossed here. God left a long time ago. I swear to it! Bastard crows! You're all out of your heads! Speak, and I will put an end to your suffering. You'll give in either way. Everyone talks eventually. It's true! Gorn planned it all. We came through the mountain passes to the west. We attacked several villages, but your men at Shadow Tower set that demon of half-hand upon us. Instead of going back the way we came, we traveled east. We gained some ground, but that bastard's patrol was still on our heels. Gorn led us here because he knew that the gate of the wall at Icemark had been closed in haste. He always knows everything. We've been scratching at the wall ever since, digging like madmen in our quest to return home. Enough. I knew you didn't have the stones. Your pity is insulting. I will be avenged. The Half-Hand won't get here in time to save you. My brothers are coming for you, Butcher. Gorn will have your hide. As soon as we've ripped open your wall, he'll tear your heart from your chest and devour it, as promised. So he really is here with the rest of your tribe. Thank you. May the White Walkers take you. May the demons of the Seven Hells give him what he deserves. Save your hatred for the living. We have many more to kill. What are your orders, brother? There's a whole clan of wildlings not far from here, and they know that we've spotted them. He mentioned Halfhand. Corin Halfhand is relentless. If he's tracking these wildlings, he'll get them. If I know Gorn, he's surveying the area and preparing an ambush to slow down the brothers of the Shadow Tower. We'll go down and keep them from getting the passage back open. They'll be stuck here, and our brothers can just finish them off. Perfect. The dogs will be trapped. And us with them! It's a risk we have to take. We can't let this opportunity go. Gorn is one of the most dangerous leaders from beyond the wall. We've got to give it a try. And there are many brothers to avenge. I have little hope. But perhaps we can at least recover their bodies. Seven Hells! What was that noise? A wildling hunting on. They're retreating now that they know we're close. By the mother! We're all going to die right here! Shut up, buddy. We'll be doing the attacking. But we have no hope, sir! 
Listen to me carefully, worm. Here, everybody fights, and nobody runs. Have pity, sir! Concentrate on the present, Poddy. If memory serves me, you're not bad with a bow. Cover us from the balcony. Follow me. At your command. Poddy, you stand here. You can count on me, Westford. Cover us as long as you can, understood? I'll do my best. You'd best do better than that. It's our asses you're covering. We'll go down and stop them from reopening the ancient ice mark. So don't fall asleep. Poddy is a craven wretch, but at least he can aim. Black blood. Those pillagers have duck faster than I realized. The door's almost open again. I'm certain that other wildlings are waiting on the other side of the wall for Gorn's tribe to open the door. We still haven't seen him, by the way. Be on your guard, Celtigar. Sir Moors, look behind us. There are more coming. of crows today. Gone. You finally show your face. This time it's between you and me. Kill the boy. Damn you all. The butcher is mine. Don't interfere. After you die, I'll be a legend. Women will fight for my seed. I'm going to bleed you, old man. If you knew how many times I've heard that, you're already dead to me, Gorn. Watch! Fire! 